What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to season 2 of our Road to Glory career mode with Ferenc Varos. Do now the Premier League challenge starts and I'm so so excited about this. If you are excited to see the re how the rest of the series unfolds, make sure to leave a like. And the board objective for this season was to finish in mid-table in the Premier League and the board also wants us to reach the round of 16 of the FA Cup. And last season we had a lot of problems in in our goalkeeping department both our goalkeepers just weren't good enough and we bought Peter Gulacci Leipzig's number one goalkeeper we said to him this is a really amazing project that you need to join very early on he's 33 years old so he's not young anymore and we told Gulacci that we will invest a lot into building a new stadium we will invest into the youth academy and also we will invest a lot in Hungarian players and Gulacci is going to be the leader of this team we wanted to buy an experienced player who can lead this team Gulacci has a point to prove he used to be at Liverpool when he was a young player so he came back to the Premier League now he will be our number one goalkeeper we also brought Salai a very talented pretty young Hungarian centre-back who even Chelsea were rumored to be interested in at one point we also sold Shiger to FC Kermenhaven, a bit part player who didn't even play a lot of football. And we also managed to loan out Fahir, who has amazing 93 to 94 potential, youth academy goalkeeper who is only 17 years old. And we start off our Premier League campaign against Watford. We got a pretty, pretty comfortable draw. And also we play Millwall in round two of the Premier League. So this is literally the perfect fixture list for us. Gavrich passes it to Leiden and Gavrich gets it back and you know how we start the Premier League season by hitting the bar this is just typical but then Gavrich gets it back from Leidoni and Gavrich what a first goal to get us off to a flyer in the Premier League Gavrich the young attacking midfielder who is an original Ferenc Varos player finds the top corner with an absolute thumping finish brilliant goal and Longcar goes on a mad run he passes it to Tokmark and then he gets it back and Longcar he finds Mai but his shot is a little bit weak and the goalkeeper saved it but we were really on the front foot in the first half and we tried to keep playing attacking very exciting football and Zubkov with the shot but that was straight at the goalkeeper Watford though gets their first chance what a cross by Joao Pedro and Saar Watford's best player probably almost scored but Gulacci makes his first big save and Zubkov already picked up an injury and then in the 85th minute Laiduni gets the ball he passes it back to Santo but his shot is straight at the goalkeeper but we managed to win our first game in the Premier League and we dominated Watford to be fair they are not really a strong team so I expected us to win this one to be honest with the way we played in the championship Gavrich was the man of the match so we are off to a flying start and up next it was Millwall and we rotated the team a little bit we wanted to give the fringe players a chance Nitsuli our backup goalkeeper started this one and then Zacharias and finds Boli and what a shot by Boli saved uh, so Ryan Mai will be our first choice striker but Boli is still a good finisher so we want to play him in against some of the smaller teams and Besic passes it to Besha the right back and Boli he gets off to a flyer as well on his Premier League debut he scores the opening goal we are leading 1-0 against Millwall this is really the perfect fixture list to start the Premier League season but Millwall gets a, a chance here and Nitsuli our backup goalkeeper with a brilliant save and then another fantastic save Milvo were really threatening to equalize Baturina who came on in the second half Baturina was uh, on loan in the first half of the season and Zakariasen hits the bar oh my goodness we hit the bar twice in two games and then Longcar's shot is blocked absolutely amazing and then Baturina who is lacking a little bit of place pace he's a strong big striker but he has good finishing. Long car passes it to Zakaria Sand. Surely it's 2 0. 
and we are off to a flying start in the Premier League. Two games, six points, and can we keep two clean sheets? Baturina is a, a victim of a brutal challenge. Ryan Leonard gets a straight red card from the re from the referee. Baturina, welcome to the Premier League, mate. But we are off to an absolute flyer, and this wasn't as comfortable as it seemed from the highlights because Millwall had 10 shots, Millwall had 5.3 expected goals as well. And we already start our first uh, League Cup game against Burton. We also played the fringe players in this one. Burton Albion is uh, I think from Division 2 and Kish gets the ball uh, somehow after a really lucky deflection. Boli was dispossessed. It falls to Kish, the left winger, the young Hungarian left winger who we signed in season one. I think he scored like six goals in season one and he is off to a, a good start. And then he goes on a mad run and Kish gets his second goal of the game. We are 2 0 up and what a finish by Kish. And he stakes a claim to play in the first team because uh, he's our backup left winger and then Cabraya our left winger passes it to Schoen who is also a left winger he passes it to Bolly who makes it free Burton is just not on our level but Bolly picked up an injury as well so two injuries in the first three games of the season is not ideal Baturino with a brilliant body feint and Kish gets a hat trick that's his first hat trick of his Ferenc Varos career what a brilliant run by Baturina, a step over and then a great assist to Kish who loves uh, this uh, game. Uh, five shots, three goals, what a performance. And we march on into the third round of the League Cup. We want to go on a good run and Boli, oh that is devastating. He suffered a broken toe injury, he will be out for three months and uh, Brighton, West Ham, Stoke City are through to the next round. And now for our biggest test of this whole career mode so far, Arsenal at the Emirates. We play our strongest possible lineup and Boli getting injured is a concern because now Mai and Baturino are our, our, our only striker options and Odegaard with an incredible volley. Gulachi makes a brilliant save absolutely stunning and then Odegaard is teasing us and Pepe with a long-range strike with which Gulachi saved as well this is why we signed Gulachi so he can uh, really help us defensively and Arsenal are really just dominating us at the moment Martinelli gets the ball he passes it back to Alan who is I think a player from China which Arsenal signed and <laughs> Oh my goodness, he, his name is AL on the back of his shirt, that's so unusual. And he blasts it home into the far corner, two goals in two matches. Such an unusual striker selection from Arsenal. Maybe they thought against the newly promoted team they can play our, their backup striker and it worked for them. He scored and our first chance fell to Mai, but the Arsenal goalkeeper saved it. Zakaria Sendo gets the ball, he passes it to Zubkov who goes on a good run he passes it to Mai can he finish no Rob holding dispossesses Mai and we lose the game to Arsenal and to be fair Arsenal deserved it they had seven shots we only had two shots at the end of the game and Alan is actually a 77 rated player and now the game that I was looking forward to the most. We play Liverpool at our home stadium, the Groupama Arena. As you can see, this is our best team that we are fielding. They have still Mane, Salah and Firmino up front. But they have a new signing, Mika Marino in midfield and it fell to him the first chance and then Mane look at this Mane with a fantastic run and Nabi Keita's shot is saved by Gulachi honestly I don't know what we would do without such a great goalkeeper like Gulachi and then Uzumi goes on a really good run his shot is blocked and then Mane passes it back to Longtar we try to be really patient in our play but we lose the ball there Liverpool are just high with high pressing they are suffocating us and Bobby Firmino Hits the post, we are so lucky that Liverpool 
didn't score in this first half. Jurgen Kopp is absolutely fuming. And then Leiduni gets the ball. We get a rare chance. Tokmak passes it to Mai. And Mai tries a long range shot, but it didn't trouble Alisson. But then Tokmak goes on a run, passes it to Leiduni, then gets it back. And, to and uh, Tokmak passes it to Uzuni. Oh my goodness, Alisson makes a save. What a huge moment that was. We could have taken the lead, but Liverpool came. Uh, strongly in the second half and Wout Weckhorst the, the former Wolfsburg and Burnley striker who is now in real life on loan at Besiktas he came on as a substitute for Bobby Firmino and scores a bullet header into the far corner Gulacci had no chance Jurgen Klopp was celebrating like crazy Liverpool are 1-0 up at our stadium and they kept coming and Jota after a brilliant back here by Marino but thankfully Gulachi no saved it so we are still in this game and then Alisson has a goal kick and what a mistake absolutely incredible how Alisson passes it to Hyatt our first choice striker says thank you very much it's a Christmas gift come early from Liverpool such an uncharacteristic uh, mistake but to be fair Alisson sometimes has these defensive laps uh, of concentration that's exactly what happened and then Vekhorst gets dispossessed but then he had a shot in the 94th minute and we saved it and then in the 95th minute there were five minutes of extra time Kish passes it to Mai, Mai to Tokmak and Alisson what a save with his leg he stretches it out and denies us a dream of victory against Liverpool but hang on Zubkov has a chance but he shoots over the bar the we short. gave a really good account of that ourselves against Liverpool we played a very that entertaining that game Draw with lots of chances end, both really teams could have won it to be fair Liverpool had more clear chances but we held our own and it, we of course needed an Alisson Howler but Liverpool actually had of course more shots more shots on target but we had seven shots 2.4 expected goals so I was very proud of our performance again Liverpool and our first point against a really big team in the Premier League so we have arrived into the Premier League and this is how the table looks like after four matches we are in the top six and I would bite your hand off if you offered this position to me and our next game is against a fellow promoted side Sheffield United we give a run out to our backup team to our second team because our team was a little bit tired after the Liverpool game and we just want want to see how the backup players do you know against the newly promoted side I think we can uh, test them out Schaefer passes to Baturina who passes to Besic and the defensive midfielder's shot is saved by Fotheringham but then Gavridge does a fake shot passes it to Schoen who has a shot oh no he hits the bar so unlucky oh my goodness imagine if that goes in and then Schoen goes on a really good run and he passes it to Schaefer the defensive midfielder has a shot is finishing of course is not the best but then he gets another chance passes it to Besic what a save by Wotheringham it was one way traffic against Sheffield United Schaefer with his third chance goes on a really good run he passes it to Baturina who turns and fires his first goal in the Premier League Baturina our backup striker who will have a major part to play now that Bolly is out injured for three months uh, and he makes it count only his second game in the Premier League and his first goal so it's always important that the striker gets off the mark and then Kish from a very tight angle almost scored the second and then the game is not over yet 89th minute Nitsuli our backup keeper shows why we wanted to give him a chance he makes two massive saves at the end it was a really tight game both teams had chances but Baturina scores the winning goal and this was another vital three points against Sheffield United and a vital vital victory we need to beat of course teams that are 
next to us in terms of quality Sheffield United also got promoted from the championship and we are in the top four after just five games an absolute dream start built on a very solid defense only two goals conceded in five games but to be fair we played two newly promoted teams in the five games and our biggest test after Liverpool come in the League Cup third round we don't get lucky with the draw we will play Manchester City this is why we played our second team against Sheffield United so we can rest the big guns and we will play our best team against Man City who have Lautaro Martinez up front with Kevin De Bruyne, Phil Foden behind him and Laiduni has the ball, he passes it to Tokmak who turns, he passes it to Mai. oh brilliant and then Mai. oh my goodness, our first chance against Man City and we score, we take first blood, we are really trying to cause a massive upset in the League Cup, I would love to have a cup run besides of course competing in the Premier League and it, we get lucky because the ricochet fell back to Mai but he shows why he's our first choice striker he's a predator in the box but then De Bruyne passes it to Foden and Lautaro Martinez scores the rebound but it's offside we get lucky the linesman flags offside and to be fair Martinez was a good yard offside but then the second half Man City really piled on the pressure look at that oh my goodness Riyad Mahrez with the three step overs and then he sets up Lautaro Martinez and he is a world-class striker in front of goal finds a tiny gap between our two center backs and he ruthlessly finished that off and then Chivish clears the ball into Ake what is he doing up front that is a big mistake by Chivish and Ryan Sterling blasts it straight into Gulachi wow that was an absolutely huge save but then we go on the counter attack this is our first chance of the second half. Zubkov passes it to Mai, but he blasts it straight into the defender. Ah, that is so unlucky. But then Man City, 80th minute. They really wanted to win this game. Kevin De Bruyne passes it to, oh my goodness, Riyad Mahrez. And what a finish into the roof of the net. We just couldn't do anything to stop the waves of attack that Man City had in the second half. But we had uh, some chances of our own. Ryan Mai passes it to Santu, who came on as a substitute. And then Mai waits on the edge of the box, passes it to back to Laiduni. Schaefer and uh, Ederson saves it. Really unlucky. Laiduni then to Mai. We had the last laugh. Laiduni! But there is a defensive midfielder and Mai is back here was brilliant by the way and Uzuni to Laiduni why does all our best chances fall to Laiduni the defensive midfielder but oh my goodness then Ederson almost concedes an own goal but in the end Man City win this game but to be fair we had more shots than Man City which is brilliant we gave a really good account of ourselves but Man City were ruthless in front of goal and they go through in the League Cup so our League Cup adventure is over and our next game is against Newcastle United and again we play our second team because I think they have done really really well so far our second team they have won some games they have kept some clean sheets but this will be their biggest test probably against a really good Newcastle side and Joao Linton straight away on the front foot a brilliant strike but Nitsuli saves it but then Beshe really miscalculates the flight of the ball and Callum Wilson with a good chance but Nitsuli our backup goalkeeper has done really well he has saved two chances but it was all Newcastle in the first half they had three chances in a row and oh my goodness we give away a penalty it's Botka the captain he should be the leader of this team it's a soft one he barely touches the Newcastle player so Callum Wilson steps up and what a penalty have you seen a better penalty in your life guys that was absolutely perfect he hits the bar hits the post and goes in only just but it's over the line as you can see with the goal line tech Technology. And that's uh, Callum Wilson's fourth goal in six games. But then Zakariasen passes it to Schaefer, the defensive midfielder, and Baturina on the rebound. He has got off the mark lately, and then he gets another goal. This is why you need to give some chances to the backup players because you never know. They might grab the opportunity with both hands and then Baturino, who is not the fastest player, tries to go on a good run, he fakes shots, passes it to Kish. 
can he keep his composure? No, but Zachary Essence's shot is saved by Woodman. Second half, we were much, much better. The first half, we barely had any chances. But then Santo goes through, brilliant. And Santo, what a thumping finish! The Newcastle defense was carved wide open. It was a little bit lucky because it was a loose ball, which Santo grabbed with a really really good uh, awareness but then Newcastle almost scored Richie just shots shoots wide that was so so close but I think if it's on target Mitsuri saves it can we hold on if we are leading 2-1 with our backup team and Tokmak passes it to Longcar, the defensive midfielder passes it to Santo who just beats the offside trap. I can't believe that it was not offside. Santo was just hanging on the shoulder of the last defender. And what a performance by Santo. He two scores two goals late in the game to win a 3-1. Brilliant result. And it was deserved. We had twice as many shots as Newcastle. And this is how our youth academy looks like. We have two very promising youth academy players, Magyar and Balog. Oh, I just wanted to show you our youth academy basically and we will promote some of them very very soon. And the last game in the episode is against Burnley so now our first team is really fit. Let's play them. I'm, we are rotating the first and the second team. But Mai was very very smart. He anticipated the long touch by the defender and then Maia's shot is saved by Nick Pope. Burnley away, usually a tough ground, but we were really on the front foot, really confident after that brilliant uh, win against Newcastle, but then Tokmak's shot is straight into the defender, but uh, Jack Cork had the chance, which uh, Gulachi saved. Uh, Tokmak perfectly timed pass to Uzuni, the Newcastle defense were all over the place. Tokmak goes through and then Mai's shot is saved, but Mai gets it back and then he hits the bar. And then Mai passes it to Uzuni with the back here. Third time's the charm. What an incredible sequence. We were peppering the goal of Burnley and then Uzuni finds the top corner. I mean, this Mai shot was a cannon, but then he had a, a fantastic back heel assist and Uzuni's shot off the bar and then Laiduni gets the ball. He, pa he had a shot which Nick Pope saved. It was all Ferenc Varos in the first half. Burnley really doesn't know what hit them. Tokmark passes it to Mai and he finds the bottom corner finally. After Baturino, our first three striker, Mai scores perfectly into the bottom corner. And it wasn't over yet. The chances kept coming for us in the first half. Uzuni with a brilliant turn, but then he shoots wide. Oh my goodness, that was unlucky. And we still had a chance. Mai with a brilliant through ball to Uzuni. And Nick Pope saved this as well. Like, And then Tokmak with a slight tackle gets the ball back. Mai, he, he turns inside side and out and then Nick Pope with a huge error we had so many shots that sooner or later it was bound to go in and Nick Pope what a goalkeeping error it wasn't in the corner but he couldn't save it and my was really loving life in this game. He had so many chances. He was playing with so much confidence. And then Mai passes it to Gavrich, who goes through, passes it back to Mai. Oh my goodness, what a strike! Ryan Mai, I think that's a hat trick for him. Brilliant strike. The ball pass was behind him, but that didn't bother Mai. Absolutely incredible finish. Burnley don't know what hit them. Gavrich goes through, he fake shots, and then his shot was saved. Absolutely incredible. And Ryan Mai gets the match ball. He had seven shots in this game. Absolutely incredible attacking performance. 14 shots, 6.5 expected goals. What an attacking masterclass this was by Ferenc Varos. And before we end the episode, I want to show you guys the league table. We had a really easy run of fixtures. We played in our first seven games, I think, four or five of the weakest sides in the Premier League. We played Arsenal and Liverpool. We collected only one point against the big teams. But at the moment, we are consistently beating the smaller teams. And that's what you want to do when you are a new, newly promoted side. So it's absolutely brilliant start to life in the Premier League. And at the moment, Leicester 
City are in the bottom half of the table, which is a little bit surprising. Our next uh, episode will be a banger as well. We will play Chelsea and Everton. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.